All right, so moving into the winter months, especially in Canada, and let's talk about vitamin D deficiency. So over 70% of children are vitamin D deficient, um, making more frequent colds as well as more aggressive colds. So let's talk about what kinds of foods we can supplement with as well as supplementation for children during the winter season. Vitamin D3 helps the absorption of calcium by a factor of 20X. However, just vitamin D3 on its own um, doesn't shuttle the calcium to where it needs to go. So we need K2 for that, not K1. K1 is for blood clotting. And if you are low in K1, you will have less of bruising. But K2, however, is responsible for shuttling that calcium where it needs to go. Pairing D3 with K2 ensures strong bones and teeth and improved overall health. Now let's talk about the type. So D3 and K2 are both fat soluble vitamins, meaning that they dissolve best when in fat. So if you're taking a D supplement that's like in a powder, I'm not going to mention any brand names, but if you go to the drugstore, they're usually the ones that you see there um, that are not mixed in an oil such as MCT or olive oil. So fat soluble vitamins need to be in an oil or taken with food that has fat in it. So most of the time with a child, a Doppler is the best way to go about this because usually kids zero to five are not taking pills yet. So with that being said, um, D3, K2 with a mix together in an oil is usually what I found the most success with. Now, as a nutritionist, we always say that food first, you should be getting your vitamins from food first. However, unless you're eating an obscene amount of like liver, egg yolks, grass fed meat um, to a high dose every single day, you will not be getting the amount of D3 and K2 that you require in order to avoid these frequent and aggressive colds throughout the winter months. All right, so for recommended amounts for children, 1,000 units is generally considered safe, as well as 120 micrograms of vitamin K. Um, we give our kids 2,000 a day because we're moving into the winter months, um, and I will show you a few of the supplements that we use. This one is D3 with K2. It has 1,000 units of D3, 120 of K2. It's in MCT, so this is considered good. This is actually Weber Naturals, which is not the highest quality. Um, however, I do like this one. You can get this at Costco, 120 micrograms with 1,000 units. It's actually in MCT as well. Um, and then we've got obviously NACA, which is your D3 K2. It has the MK7, which is the version of K that you want. Um, but again, that's a Doppler and I kind of mix it up. And then I have them separately. So this is Canprev K2. Each drop has 30 micrograms of K2. And this is your D3 by Organica, 2,500 units. So depending on the day, we can kind of switch it up. Um, I take these religiously kind of one per day and then I supplement more depending on did I get outside? What time of the year is it? So yeah, it's nice to kind of have these um, separately so that you can dose specifically based on your lifestyle um, at that time. So yeah, highly suggest. Again, lower price point, higher price point, highest price point, but you definitely get what you pay for as always in life in general.